and with Noah Capilla, the Marquette sophomore at the uh, 2012 University City uh, Charlie Beck track meet. And uh, tell me, take me back to, uh, you had such a phenomenal freshman year, take me back to sophomore state cross country. I know I thought, thought you ran a great race. Was it fourth or fifth? It was fourth. Fourth? Yeah. Okay, tell me, were you, you ha were you happy with that? Yeah, I was. Um, like, I was just trying to stay with the leaders. I mean, it was Zach Perry and Caleb Wolfong. And yeah. I mean, the conditions weren't ideal. I mean, it's kind of wet and soggy, so. I, I know. We were anything. looking forward to some quick times, yeah. and it was it was a lot colder and windier yeah, than I think it was supposed to be, yeah. so. Um, and then your only postseason race, was that was that Foot Locker? Yeah. Is that right? Um, and had a great race, yeah. 12th place, 12th, right? Or 14th. 14th, okay. Just just missed it by uh, making a trip to San Diego by a little bit. Uh, were you, were, tell me about how that went and what your preparations for that were. Well, my dad uh, coached me and a few of my teammates along after the season, and we just wanted, we, I like the race, it's really fun, we get to travel to Wisconsin. Right. So. I, I wasn't really expecting too much because, I mean, I got like 100 at, like last year, the freshman, but yeah. I, I found I was in, like, in a good position and I just kicked from there and it was, I guess I did pretty good. With that, such a big field, were you were you shooting to be that top ten going in, or were you just going to go yeah, out and no, have fun no, and trying, see where you place? I was just trying to see where I was, and luckily I was in a good position. So. How did you get out? Did you get out pretty good in the top uh, top fifty or you know seventy? What what I, would you say? I think by the first mile I was probably like in the top fifty at least. Like I, okay. I could see the lead car, so yeah. I was trying to stay to stay comfortable in the last. So. Yeah. What? Did you move up quite a bit the second or third mile, or where did you where did you move into the teens? The third mile, I think a lot of people just or the second mile, a lot of people just started falling back, so I just took advantage there. Back in the woods through yeah, the trail the there. Hill, in the hills and yeah. So, and then like the, it's a long downhill finish, so I just tried to move through there, and I was able to get 14. Yeah. What? Um, did you did you realize at the finish? When, when did you realize that you were actually 14th? Did somebody uh, yell at you dur during the finish? You know, last yeah. mile or so? People did you realize? Yelling, like, which person was 10th? Because that, obviously that's the goal. So, yeah. Like, I counted and I knew I was 14th, so I was trying to hold my position. Yeah. Yeah. Happen. I'm sure you had to be pretty pleased yeah, though with I yourself. Really, I was really proud. I, never, I didn't expect it at all. So. Any thoughts coming to your head? Maybe on the long on the drive home, thinking, Oh man, if I would have only. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I think I kind of saved too much for the last mile, but yeah. Oh, well, I wasn't. It was a good little surprise. Yeah. Well, from uh, tell me about your winter. Did you stay healthy? Did you did you say you didn't run any races? Just trained? And yeah, no, just trained my teammates Adam and Riley and Dan last year. So okay. We just trained hard all the way and saved all the races for spring. Yeah, yeah. Um, did you get to make it out for U.S. Cross Country and watch any of those races? Yeah, I went out there and watched, but it was, actually no, I had the ACT that day. Oh, okay. I didn't get to go, but it yeah. Was cold, so I it was pretty there. brutal. Yeah. Just talked to Amos Barlsmeyer at the John Burroughs meet, and he said, "Yeah, it was. It was. It didn't look too fun." Either. Right. He he was. He didn't race, but went out there, enjoyed the experience. But we both said it was. It was yeah. pretty brutal conditions. But um, so had such a fr phenomenal freshman year and a good sophomore cross season, and what 925, 928 yeah. at state last year. 925. Yeah. Uh, probably made probably the fastest time ever for a Missouri freshman. What what were the goals coming into this this track season? Um, for this season, I just want to stay stay in good shape and just PR and like hopefully move into like the 920s and the 14s that I've seen. Yeah. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It's still 10. Yeah. What about health? Have you since since you've been in high school? Have you had any health issues or have you been pretty much? Yeah, yeah I've been pretty good. Not been injured or anything. So yeah. Been what's been your highest mileage? What's the what biggest week you've had overall? And then what are you at like oh for for now or the winter this winter? Um, we don't go very high mileage much at all. It was probably topped at like 40 or 50. Yeah. So, I don't know. Right, I, I haven't counted counted this week, but we're probably around 40 for this week. So yeah. Not too much. And then tell me, uh, how did the uh, the meet at home let go last Friday for you? Did you do it four by eight, eight, six? What'd you do? Uh, yeah, I did the four by eight, and then I did the four hundred in the DMR. Actually, okay. And then the four by mile. So that went pretty good. Just a lot of races in a short amount of time. So it's kind of awesome. yeah. Yeah. Oh, well. And then here today, you ran the 16 and 8. Tell us, yeah. tell us how those went. Well, in the 16, I knew I wanted to go out fast and just try to hold around like 64, see how long it could last. And then I came out in 418, and I was really happy, but I, I felt really drained, and so I felt really tired. And so for that 800, I was just out of it. And then, yeah. I don't know. Well, pretty, pretty, uh, pretty impressive. 418 this early in the season. Were you were pretty happy with that? Yeah, I'm really happy. I, like I never really ran the mile much last year, so it's yeah. good to be able to run that. And your teammate Adam was was second, right? Yeah, we got one too. So he's and doing good let's too. see, is he a junior? He's a junior. Yes. Okay, so junior. pretty great. 4:26. Yeah. So this early, but um, what's uh what's on the schedule for you coming up? 
Uh, we have the summit meet next week, so okay. hopefully it goes better than last year where it was all rainy. Ooh, real windy, wasn't it? Yeah. And, yeah. What about um, rest, rest of the way? Any, any? We have that Parkway South meet, I think, the week after that, and then it's conference. And okay. What's uh, um, have you thought put any consideration into any any summer meets going to try to qualify for? I think I might try the Festival of Miles and then okay. I don't know. We'll see from there. Maybe something. New. Yeah. What's your What's your favorite race? Obviously, you had great success last year in the 32, and and are showing you got some speed to go along with your your endurance. What do you enjoy? Any one that you enjoy more than the other? I don't know. I haven't really run the two mile yet this year, so we'll see how that goes. But yeah. the mile's pretty good. So. How did you enjoy the 400 and the DMR? Uh, it was it was rough. We were in last place, so yeah. I just had to run it, and it was okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No 200s. They're not going to put no. you in blocks. Do you think? <laughs> Get you a little that, speed that'd work. Be rough. That'd be terrible. <laughs> yeah. Well, thanks a bunch. It's been uh, fun fun watching you, and I think uh, I've already had some great success and. Short time, and I'm sure a lot of, lot, many more great things are, are ahead for you. Right. So uh, good luck and stay healthy. Thank you. All right.